Hi, I'm Dr. Woma, medical and cosmetic doctor, and today we're playing Face Facts or Fiction. This is the anti-aging skin treatment edition. Let's get into it. <laughs> you naturally have a certain amount of collagen and you will lose it every year. Fact. So from the age of 25, our collagen levels deplete by 1% every year. And then once we hit menopause for the first five years, it depletes by 30%. So it's really important to slow down these changes with collagen supplementation. Anti-wrinkle injections will freeze your face. Fiction. I know that Botox has a really bad rep when it comes to looking very scary and very tight, particularly on the forehead. However, if you go to the right injector where they're really being conscious about the quantities, the units of Botox that they're using, you will not look frozen, okay? You can look natural, you can still move your face. I actually had Botox myself and I can kind of somewhat frown and lift up. See, not frozen at all. Consuming collagen doesn't help your skin. Of course, that's fiction. We very much know now that collagen supplementation has proven scientific benefits towards the skin. There's over 800 scientific papers and 20 double-blind randomized controlled trials to prove this. So let's stop arguing about this, guys. Anti-wrinkle injections will stop new wrinkles from forming. Fact. Yes, Botox does slow down the aging process, particularly when it comes to, you know, minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. However, sadly, it doesn't stop the aging process completely. And of course, if you really want to address, you know, the signs of aging from the inside out, it's really worth considering supplementation with collagen. We get plenty of collagen from our diet and we don't need supplementation. Fiction. So collagen is typically found within the connective tissue, bones and organ meats of animals. However, in this very raw form, the molecule is super large. And in this raw form, the body really struggles to utilize it. And so the body really needs a much smaller molecule and that's specifically hydrolyzed collagen. And then that way it can be absorbed, you know, through the gut into the bloodstream and then distributed um, into the skin, the dermis specifically, and in any other areas of the body where it needs it. If you stop using Botox and fillers, your wrinkles will be worse than ever. Fiction. This is a massive misconception that I often hear from people. Um, the great thing with injectables is that, if anything, it just really slows down the aging process. So imagine if you have like two people, let's say a set of twins. You know, the twin that's like been injecting, you know, Botox and fillers in a very considerate way over the course of 10 years will age much slower, look much younger for longer than their sibling. So with these sets of twins, um, if the twin who has been injecting with Botox and fillers for the past 10 years suddenly decides to stop her treatments, she won't age any quicker than her sibling. If anything, the aging process will just continue from where it left off, but she'll still look younger than her sibling. All collagen is created equal. Fiction. So studies have proven that marine collagen is absorbed much more efficiently into the bloodstream than bovine collagen, specifically 1.5 times more. Additionally, compared to bovine collagen, marine collagen is highest in types one and three. These types of collagen offer the best benefits for hair, skin, and nails. Therefore, marine collagen is the best type of collagen for beauty concerns. Botox is a toxin and it's unsafe and bad for you. Fiction. Of course, yes, Botox is a toxin. However, it's definitely untrue to say that it's not safe. Botox is used for a range of indications, for a range of ages, not only adults, but even children. So with that in mind, it's fair to say that it's pretty safe. Taking vitamin C helps collagen absorb better. Fact, so vitamin C is fundamental in the absorption of collagen. Not only that, but it's the coenzyme involved in the production of collagen. So specifically, high levels of vitamin C promote collagen gene expression within fibroblasts. And fibroblasts are cells within the dermis, and they are the cells that produce collagen. Think of it as a codependent relationship. So if you don't have enough vitamin C, your body's really gonna struggle in producing collagen. With that in mind, consider supplementing with vitamin C when using collagen supplements. Botox will make my eyebrows droop. Fiction. Though, may be true if you go to the wrong injector, um, the reason that eyebrows droop when it comes to Botox is because um, if the injector puts Botox in the wrong location, so specifically 
too close to the eyebrow area, too low, um, you know, around the eye area, um, that's when Botox moves into muscles that it really shouldn't do. And that's where you can get adverse reactions such as a droopy brow. Whilst it's not ideal, it's not permanent and does usually ease up after a month or so. You can get addicted to Botox fillers and cosmetic injections. Scientifically fiction, however, the results of Botox and fillers are so good that I'm not gonna lie, even I like my injectables. However, something I say to my patients all the time is that you really need to have your ceiling of happiness. What I mean by that is that you need to have very clear in your mind the objectives that you're trying to achieve. Whether it be, I'm not really happy with the lower profile of my face, so if I just get this treatment, that treatment, then I'll be happy. Because that really stops you from getting very carried away with these treatments, which is very easy to do. And, you know, you're just approaching things from a much more healthier way. I'm too old for Botox to work. Fiction. However, what I would say is that Botox is actually indicated for the ages of 18 to 65. So of course, if you're above that, then indeed, it may be worthwhile considering something else. But of course, you can always supplement with collagen. Fillers stretch your skin and it will make it droopy if you stop injecting it. Fiction. And this is technically fiction. However, of course, if you've been injecting a ton of fillers in your face, and when I say a ton, I mean an excessive, an inappropriate amount. Yes, if you suddenly decide to dissolve them, you will notice that the skin, the face does have a little bit of laxity to it. But of course, that is only with very extreme circumstances. If you've been very considerate about the amounts of filler and Botox that you've been using, that really isn't a concern that you should be worrying about. Fillers make your skin glow. Fact. So filler is very much known for its volumizing, contouring, lifting properties. However, um, if you get a low molecular weight of um, hyaluronic acid, so essentially a really kind of like more runny filler, a lightweight filler, that can be injected much higher up within the dermis and that can really just make the skin look dewy, glowy and luminous.